Three, two, one. What's up, bridal babes? I hope you're ready to talk weddings with me in another exciting episode of your favorite wedding show, Bridal Buzz. I'm your host, Kat, and today we're gonna talk about something that is very important in the wedding planning process, and that is how to choose your maid of honor. Now, it might seem like there's an obvious answer to this question, but I just wanna advise you on a couple of things that you need to take into consideration before you just opt into choosing your best friend. And I know it can be hard to think that your best friend, since you've known since you were two years old might not be the best option to actually be your maid of honor, but hear me out. I'm going to talk about what the maid of honor is, what their role is, the typical responsibilities they hold, and what I think makes a good maid of honor and what I think makes a bad maid of honor. And just so you know, I've been a maid of honor before. I just had my wedding in April of 2023. And before we dive into this video, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out when I put out these videos for you to engage with them. Comment, let me know your thoughts, and of course, subscribe to the channel. And with that, let's get started. Alrighty, so before we dive into what I think makes a good and what I think makes a bad maid of honor, let's cover the basics. So what is a maid of honor? A maid of honor is your right hand person. And for the sake of this video, whether it's your matron of honor, your man of honor, whoever they may be, just have patience with me. I'm going to refer to them as maid of honor for the whole time. What are the typical responsibilities of a maid of honor? Well, besides on the wedding day where she's going to be standing by your side, helping you with your veil, your dress, your flowers, use the restroom, there's there's also a lot of pre-wedding responsibilities that a maid of honor holds. The main ones, of course, being planning that bachelorette party and helping you manage your bridal party. And the reason the role is so important is because these responsibilities are also so important. Your maid of honor is going to be helping you communicate about all of the details of your wedding to your bridal party and planning out the timeline, the lodging, the expenses, everything that comes into planning your bachelorette party. And it really does take a certain kind of person to be able to communicate, to lead, to organize, and overall be your cheerleader. So now that we've covered the basics of what a maid of honor is, let's get into what I think makes a good and what I think makes a bad maid of honor. And hopefully once we've gotten through this list, it'll help you narrow narrow down the people in your life that you think could fit this role. So the first thing that I think makes a great maid of honor is someone who understands you. There are going to be moments throughout your wedding planning experience where you just don't know how to speak up for yourself. Your brain is feeling all types of flustered and you're going to need your maid of honor to be there to advocate for you to understand what you would do in that situation and help work through that process. This is also super important for when they're planning that bachelorette party. If you have someone planning your bachelorette that doesn't understand you, they're going to end up planning something that is more leaning toward what they would want their bachelorette party to be versus what you would actually want your bachelorette party to be. Next on the list is someone who respects you. When you make a decision for your wedding and your bridal party is not exactly the biggest fan of it, you're going to need a maid of honor who respects your decision making and who is going to, again, speak up and advocate for you. You are going to need somebody who prioritizes you, gives you your space, gets you that chocolate bar when you need it, and that ultimately respects the fact that you are the bride, you are the most important person on that day, and what you need comes first. Another thing that makes a great maid of honor is someone who is willing to fight for you. There was a situation on my wedding day where my maid of honor had to call one of my wedding vendors and kind of have it out with them. Um, and I am so grateful that Hannah, my best friend, my maid of honor was able to make that happen. She wasn't afraid to speak up for me when I couldn't. She wasn't afraid to tell that vendor how upset I was. And at the end of the day, she just wasn't afraid to take on the weight and the responsibility of charging forward to protect me, to protect my energy and to protect my day. A quality that is incredibly important in a maid of honor role is someone who can communicate clearly. Because even if you have someone who's willing to fight for you, if they can't communicate clearly, that is not going to be bringing up the best outcome in the situation. You need someone who can text clearly, can speak clearly, can have phone calls clearly, and knows how to express whatever emotion is coming up in a way that gets the job done. Whether that be texting the bridesmaid group chat, calling a vendor on your wedding day, or even communicating problems to you that you may not want to hear. Having a maid of honor that can communicate those things clearly is just going to make your time as a bride, as someone getting married, that much smoother. 
Another part of communication is conflict resolution. Having someone that knows how to resolve conflict as a maid of honor is crucial. Whether you want there to be conflict or not, I guarantee it and I hate to be the one that's gonna guarantee it, there will be conflict. There will be something that goes wrong. There will be someone who does something that you don't want them to do, but you are not the person who needs to be worrying about it when you have 500 other things to be thinking about on your wedding day and planning your wedding. So when you're picking your maid of honor, making sure that they can actually resolve conflict in a stressful situation will help you be able to focus on the things that matter most in your wedding planning process. And because of the specific role your maid of honor has versus the other people in your bridal party, it is crucial that you pick someone who is good at organizing events, timelines, people. <laughs> you can have somebody that is your best friend in the entire world, but if they are not good at sitting down and organizing what is going to be your bachelorette party, potentially your bridal shower, helping you plan out the morning of your wedding, you are going to have to think deep and hard about how much you want to actually put into planning and organizing all of the things that they might fall short on. And having somebody who knows how to stay organized, who knows how to create a fun timeline is going to make your time as a bride just so much funner. You want to have that full on bridal experience and show up to your bachelorette party and have everything be wonderful and the little details being taken care of and just ultimately not have to worry about being the person who takes the lead on these little events leading up to your wedding. So organizational skills as a maid of honor is definitely very important. And another important thing to consider while choosing your maid of honor is of course, someone who is going to celebrate you. Because no matter how organized somebody is, no matter how many great leadership skills they have, if they're not willing to celebrate you at the end of the day, then why even have them in your bridal party? No offense. <laughs> and I genuinely think over everything else that I already mentioned, this one is the most important thing. You don't wanna feel like your maid of honor is obligated to be doing what she's doing. You wanna know that she's doing everything that she is because she loves you, she wants to celebrate you, she wants to give you the best day ever. And so choosing a maid of honor who is going to celebrate you above all is so, so important for having an amazing wedding experience. So now that I've covered that on all the things that I think make a good maid of honor, let's move on to the things that I think make a bad maid of honor. First on that list is gonna be somebody who tries to control you. If you have someone in mind as a potential maid of honor who is constantly trying to push their wants over yours, I would definitely reconsider putting them in that role. You do not want a maid of honor who is going to be trying to convince you to do things that you do not want to do, persuade you to move in directions that you weren't thinking about, and ultimately take away from you being the bride and the focus of the experience. And that leads pretty well into the next one that I'm going to mention, and that is someone who doesn't listen to your needs. A bad maid of honor is going to ignore what you want and put the needs of themselves or others ahead of that. A potential situation I could see happening like this would be planning a bachelorette party that really doesn't reflect who you as a bride are. Maybe you wanted to keep it low key and they just don't listen to what you're needing and they plan a full on drinking spree. You definitely don't want that to happen and you definitely don't want to pick somebody who is going to put the needs of others or themselves above the needs of you as the bride. Another thing that would make somebody a bad choice to be a maid of honor for your wedding would be someone who is willing to just back down from a fight. If you are in need of an advocate, if you are in need of someone to speak up for you and your maid of honor isn't willing to be that person, then you are going to be left high and dry, frazzled and stressed out when you don't need to be. You definitely want to be able to trust the fact that you delegated this role to your maid of honor and know that if anything arises, when something arises, they will be the first one to get up and say, what can I do about this? How can I make this situation better? You also definitely don't want to choose a maid of honor who has no leadership skills. And I know that I mentioned that that celebrating you is the most important thing in choosing your maid of honor, but leadership is also almost there at the most important thing. You're going to need your maid of honor to corral the group, to lead the focus, to make sure everyone is on the same page, and to ultimately be that person who reins everybody back in and gets them to focus on you as the bride. A maid of honor with no leadership skills is going to let things slide that are important to you. Things like maybe managing the amount of drinking you do before the wedding ceremony, or making sure all of your bridal party members have the right color shoes. At the end of the day, you ultimately need somebody who's going to lead that charge and be your right hand person in making sure all of the events, all of the details go as smoothly as possible. Another quality that you definitely do not want to have in your maid of honor is procrastination. In your wedding planning process, you need to be able to trust the fact that your maid of honor is planning things on time, making sure things happen, because if they're someone who leaves things to the last minute, ultimately that's going to look like overpaying for Airbnbs, overpaying for flights, bridal party members maybe not having items on time for the wedding, and you, as the bride, being stressed out for 
for no reason. And that pretty much covers the things that I think would make a really bad maid of honor and a really good maid of honor. And overall, I just wanna inspire you to not just choose your best friend because they're your best friend. Yes, I want you to have your bestie moment and they can still be in your bridal party if they don't have those qualities that make a good maid of honor. And having that conversation might look difficult, but at the end of the day, this is your wedding and you need to make the most of it. You need to pick somebody who is going to communicate, who is going to have leadership skills, who's going to celebrate you, and who's going to make your wedding planning process as stress-free as possible. So avoid those people who put themselves first, who procrastinate, who don't take your needs seriously, because you deserve the best in your wedding, and having an amazing maid of honor will only make things a hundred times better. Again, shout out to my bestie Hannah for being the best maid of honor ever. <laughs> Find you a maid of honor like Hannah for real. If you have any questions or if you think I forgot anything on those lists, make sure you drop them in the comments below. And that pretty much sums it up for this video. I hope all the tips I gave you help you choose the best maid of honor possible. Make sure you head to my channel to hear all the best wedding insight for your wedding planning experience. Listen to the podcast for real wedding stories and questions. And with that, I'll see you next time.